The quickest way to fail on Amazon is by launching another Me Too product. Or in other words, going to Alibaba, finding a product, sending it to Amazon, and then thinking you're going to make a million dollars. I hate to break it to you, that is not how it works. So in today's video, I wanna give you an A to Z masterclass on how to differentiate and improve your product so when you come to market, it's unique, it's different, and you absolutely destroy your competition. So if that sounds good, let's jump into it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean Peterson, I'm an eight-figure Amazon seller, and today I'm gonna to show you how to improve and differentiate your product because if you do this one part wrong you will fail and land flat on your face and be the next person to say Amazon FBA is a scam when it really isn't and the reason that I know that is I've coached over 4,000 people across the world and I will say this is the one part where beginners mess up but if you can understand this one process Amazon becomes way easier it's simplified and that's what I want to do after years and years of tweaking and trying different things, I finally have a process that is proven that works when it comes to improving and differentiating. And it's all thanks to data dive and AI. If it wasn't for that, it'd be very difficult. So let's jump into my screen and we're going to be improving this particular product. It's an inflatable ice bath. And so this is the product that I came across. I found it, I verified it. And the third and last part to the product research process is how do I improve and differentiate? If I can't do this, then I'm not going to marry myself to that product. I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to move on. And so that is one of the biggest mistakes is people do the research, they get to this part and they force the issue and they try to figure out a way to improve it and they try to force it, but it just doesn't work. And then they launch it and they wonder why they failed. And it's because you didn't do this. So. Let's go to Amazon, search for the product that you're looking to sell. Then you're going to get the data dive extension. I'll drop the link down below. You guys get an exclusive discount plus a free trial and you're going to open up the dive box. And from here, you're going to do a deep dive on your competition. If you guys already did the verification and the validation part, then you already have done this. If you guys have optimized your listing, you've already done this. But basically for those that haven't, you're going to pull up the dive box. This is uh, this looks very similar to other extensions like Jungle Scout and Helium 10. It's gonna show you the revenue. It's gonna show you basically the entire competition. You're going to click these little toggles, turn them on, and you're gonna find at least 12 to 15 competitors, and then you're going to hit dive. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically pull all of the data from your main competitors and put together a complete overview, a market analysis, find the keywords that your competitors are ranking for, and then we're gonna be able to use that information to then use AI to pull that data out and find ways to improve and differentiate. And so once you do a deep dive, you'll see this overview, you'll see what's called your MKL, your master keyword list. It will show you your competition, if they're strong, if they're weak, if they're very weak. And as you can see, there's quite a few weak competitors, which is really good. There's three weak ones, there's only one strong, and then there's four very strong. So there's a hole in the market, there's opportunity for me. If we come over here to the overview, we can see that same exact thing right here. Now the goal of this video is not to verify and validate. We're taking this data and trying to figure out how to improve it. If you guys want a complete breakdown on how I verify and validate, let me know in the comments down below. But just wanted to show you how this process works. Again, we toggle this on, we did a dive, it takes us to this, then we're gonna come over here to what's called the AI product brief. And this is where you're going to select all your competitors and you're going to hit analyze selected competitors. And this is where things get very, very awesome very quickly. And again, in a matter of a couple seconds, you can have a way to improve and differentiate your product. So while this is loading and analyzing my competition, I'm going to come over here to the deep dive, come over here, click collapse all, and you will be able to see all of the images from your competition. And this is going to give you an insight and fill on, okay, is there maybe a opportunity for you to improve your images? And in this case, all of these images actually look really good. Um, I mean, they all kind of look similar. They have a very similar structure. They show kind of the core. They show somebody in the ice bath. That's super important. Um, I like this one where it shows um, both a male and female in the tub. Um, this, you can tell that is very Photoshop. So I would probably improve that. You can see this one that it shows um, that it's not just for cold, but you can also use it for hot. And I like that color contrast, that one really pops. And so there's some ideas that you can basically take from these images and incorporate it into your own. So right there is just kind of a, a little kind of golden nugget for you guys um, while you're waiting for the AI product brief. 
but now this has actually completely loaded. And so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to hit the attributes included in this listing. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna toggle this on. I'm gonna come over here and toggle this on. And then just like that, you're going to see the value added ideas all broken down right here. The customer avatar is broken down all right here. And then I'm gonna hit generate the product brief. And then we're going to wait a couple more seconds for this to generate. And this is where we're going to have a clear, concise way on how we're going to improve and differentiate our product. And boom, just like that, in a matter of a couple of seconds, we've got the product brief. So this will give you what the product should have. So it'll break all of that down. If we scroll down right here, it says the negative attributes. So what are people complaining about the existing products on the market? This is where you have a lot of opportunity to improve and differentiate. It says poor instructions, not durable, uncomfortable, expensive, heavy, difficult to assemble, slow customer service, poor quality, difficult to clean, poor packaging, slow shipping, unreliable, bulky design. There is a lot of negative when it comes to these products. And so it's like, okay, how can you take these negatives and improve upon them? And so from there, the first one, poor instructions, well, that's easy. I create a video and showing them how to install and set it up, or maybe the current products are a little complicated to inflate and deflate and set up. So I'd want to make sure that it's easy. And then from there, I wanna make sure that I have the instructions showing, and I'm going to include an instruction manual, then with a QR code of a video of me or somebody that I hire to show them how to set it up properly. That's going to avoid a lot of confusion is just by having simple instructions. You've got not durable. So a lot of these are probably just flimsy and they fall apart. So if we come over here, you're going to see that some are probably just not very durable. They have these like PVC pipes that are supporting it. It's like, okay, none of that nonsense. I don't want that. I want to make sure that it's durable. It's uncomfortable. Maybe it's because they're too small or maybe because they're not durable enough and they don't have the support that they need. And so like, for example, this one that just recently came out, they had a, let me see if I can find it. So if you come over here and look at this one that just came out, it has an angle on the tub. And so that makes it more comfortable to sit in. And so that was a way that they actually improved upon that. And there's not very many of those. And so that would be an element that I would want in mind. And maybe I would do that on both sides. So if it's a two person or if you can have two people in it, they're both comfortable. So we'll come back over here. We have expensive. So maybe the price point, maybe you can improve upon that. I think that's going to be pretty difficult just with the, with the product itself. Um, if you go too cheap, then the product is going to be cheap and it's not going to be durable and people are going to complain about it. So that's something that's going to be kind of hard. Um, it's heavy. Um, depending on the material that you use, difficult to assemble. Again, that's where the instructions are going to come in. Slow customer service on it, the instruction manual. You can have them reach out to you, say, hey, reach out anytime. And then also just make sure that you're responding and engaging with them. Poor quality, difficult to clean. So maybe include something to help them clean. So I have a cold plunge. And one thing that I have is I actually had to buy a brush to clean the insides and so maybe include that brush. Um, poor packaging, slow shipping, um, unreliable. So like there's a lot of negatives there. So then right here it says value added ideas and desired improvements. So enhanced instruction manual. Literally, I just went through this and I didn't even need to generate ideas because it generated it for me. Durability insurance, comfortable uh, features, cost effective solutions, lightweight, quick assembly, innovative features, built-in thermometer. I love that idea, um, or at least include one because I had to buy one separately for mine. Um, insulated lid um, and a water chiller compatibility. So maybe you're not selling the chiller, but make sure that it's compatible for a chiller. Um, that's super important. So like there's a lot of ideas that they're giving you to improve upon this product. So if we come back over here, you can see that most of them are just the tub and they have the, the pump. But if you had the tub, the pump, instructions, uh, maybe a mat to go in front of the tub, um, maybe you had the thermometer, the built-in thermometer in there, um, showing that uh, it's comfortable. Those are all things that you can do to improve it. And then right here, you got the customer avatars, so you can know who you're actually selling to. And then there's any other insights that may be uh, valuable. Emphasize the product's versatility for both cold and hot therapy. So that was one thing that I actually didn't think of. 
I thought most people would just use this for um, a cold, but I think that there is an opportunity for both. And so highlighting that and showcasing that. So maybe you can do that in your main image. Um, highlight the product's ability to accommodate various body types and sizes. So I like that idea as well. I think you want to have a, a tub that's big enough for everyone and maybe it's big enough for two people. Um, ensure the marketing materials accurately reflect the product's features and benefits. Consider offering a, wa a warranty or satisfaction guarantee to enhance the customer trust. And that's what you could do. Collect some emails and offer that as well. So there is a lot. I mean, I we didn't read all of this, but all of this is breaking down of exactly what's wrong with the current market, what's wrong with the current products. We need to include basically what should be standard and then ideas on how to improve and differentiate. And so from here, I would take this outline and I'd contact my sourcing agent or my manufacturer and say, hey, this is what I need. Can you do it? And if they can, and they can do it at the price point that you want to where that you're profitable, then that's where I would continue and move forward with product. But if not, like I mentioned, don't get married to the product. You got to toss it and move on to the next. But with this AI product brief, it makes it so much easier to literally break down everything. Like it did this. It took maybe three minutes for the AI product brief to do its thing. And then from there, I just need to read it and break down the data. And then go look at the at the products and just analyze it. Come over, uh, come back over here to the deep dive and look at the images, and see. Okay, what should I add? What sh what what can I improve upon? That is the recipe for success. If you do not do that, like I mentioned at the beginning, you will fail and land flat on your face. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you go and leverage the power of AI. You analyze the listings, your com your competition. You learn from them. You figure out what's working for them and what's not, and then you incorporate both. You incorporate what is working, and then you incorporate what isn't working for them, and you improve it. That's how you win with Amazon FBA. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments. We have a school community group that's a seven-day free trial that you guys can jump in and learn even more about the newest strategies that I'm talking about. So I'll put the link down in the description and also the data dive discount, but this is an absolute must. This is how you're going to succeed with Amazon right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.